would Jesus do got a lot of play this week? Well, according to President Obama, he would tax the rich. Listen to his comments from a prayer breakfast this past week. I think to myself, if I'm willing to give something up as somebody who's been extraordinarily blessed, and give up some of the tax breaks that I enjoy, I actually think that's going to make economic sense. But for me as a Christian, it also coincides with Jesus' teaching that for unto whom much is given, much shall be required. Now that got a lot of play this week, of course. So should the president be invoking Jesus while trying to sell a tax plan? Joining us now is Fox News contributor Stephen Crowder. Nice to see you this morning, Stephen. Welcome. Good to see you. We should both be in church this morning, so you have some repenting to do, Clayton. And I have a job to do, so I'll do that first. Uh, Stephen, let me ask you, as a Christian, you are a Christian, what did you think when you heard the president saying that, the, that it would be, that's what Jesus would want, is to tax the rich? When I hear this, there are really only three possible outcomes, because he's sort of been invoking this for a lot of reasons now, the name of Jesus. Uh, one, either, you know, first let's assume, by the way, that he is telling the truth, even though those folks in Discovery Channel have more chance of finding squatch than you have of finding Obama in a church. Let's say he's got God on line one. He really is praying all the time when making his decisions. That just proves to me that I've got the wrong guy on the phone when I'm praying, and that if anything else, uh, I, along with most pastors and Bible-believing Christians, are possibly Satanists. B, this guy uh, should go back to uh, burning the taxpayer-funded incense to whatever pagan foreign deity he's worshiping because it's not Jesus. Or three, uh, this guy's lying to us, simply trying to score political points, which you see with Barack Obama a lot, and he's rapidly ticked off the Christian voter base, so he probably needs to appeal them a little bit. Well, what the left is saying is saying people are jumping on this too quickly and that there is a problem with some of what the president and said, which is, look, he didn't say that Jesus would tax the rich. He said it coincides with Jesus' teachings. Those are his words. It coincides with Jesus' teachings that for un who, uh, unto whom much is given, much shall be required. The idea that, look, you're given a lot. You should do a little bit more for your community. What do you say to that? No, I think that is true. And you know what? He also says uh, that you should be tithing 10%, as we see in the Bible. Give unto Caesar, which is Caesar's, and that unto God, which is God's. Uh, Barack Obama believes, eh, pretty much give it all to Caesar's. Listen, I don't have a problem with somebody saying, hey, my faith dictates my policy. My faith dictates every decision that I make in my life, so it's going to be a part of it. You saw that with George Bush and the presidential prayer team, something that Obama does not have. Uh, I don't have a problem with any of that. What I do have a problem with is being lied to when you say, well, I'm doing this because Jesus wants me to. Really? Does Jesus want you to reverse the Mexico City policy where essentially we're now paying for abortions overseas? Because I don't know how he'd feel about that. And it seems to be that morally he's diametrically opposed to Christians. So how, if you're in that direct context, with the Lord, do you get it wrong that often? It sounds to me like he's playing a bad game of telephone. <laughs> uh, I remember telephone from nursery school. Thanks, Stephen. Great to see I you do this too. morning. It ended up becoming a filthy game. It did. It did. Uh, I won't go there.